in this in this tutorial in this tutorial we're going to be um, backing up and restoring a file actually on the uh, file agent so let's do that we're going to be mounting a um, a file share uh, to this server actually from our open filer so let's do that first things first let's do that we're going to go to our um, C drive on our comm serve. We're going to right click network. Right click network and we're going to map network drive. So we're going to do like let's say W or let's say W drive is fine. So we're going to actually type in the 172.16.30.10. We're going to browse and we're going to choose the NFS Commvault Lab one, right? Let's do that. Let's see if it allows us to make a new folder, shall we? Let's see, new folder. Can we make a new folder? Let's see. So, Windows, Win. Let's just do File, File, Backup, Restore. Okay, File, Backup, Restore. Okay, sounds good. Good. All right. So finish. Okay. So that's good. So we have. Looks like we do. Let's see. Oh yeah. So we have a network location that were uh, has no data in it, right? That we're going to be um, backing up and restoring. So I'm actually just going to put a file inside here, right? So let's call it new. Uh, let's say a text file. So let's just call up uh, data. Uh, data backup. Right? Let's do that. Put some data in here. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is. Doesn't matter. Okay. Close it. Save. Yes. Good. Okay. We'll put an image in there too. Bitmap image. Let's see. Image. Right? Oh, it needs to be larger. Okay, so let me do this. So we're going to copy this folder here. We're going to copy it and we're going to put it into our share drive. All right? So just paste it's a little more, you know, 778 kilobits and all that, right? So a little more. We'll do like a um, step recorder. So steps, right? Okay, so stop recording. All right, so where do you want to save it as? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Save it. Yeah, so save it to PC. Save it to here. Just save it here. So let's go um, screen shots. Okay, doesn't matter what we save it as. Doesn't really matter. I guess it does matter. Screen. So save it as, well, I guess you do need to save it as a zip. Um, let's save HTML, how about that? Really? Data, whatever. Okay, cool, seems to work. Okay, cool, fantastic, so sweet. So now that we have our data there, present, let's go to Windows and do a um, file backup and restore. So we're going to open up file system, then we're going to do default backup set. And we're going to specify our, um, we're going to specify, well, you've already specified it. Okay. So yeah, we're going to specify it. We'll just back up, right? So, oh yeah, I remember a couple episodes ago we did that. That's what we did. So we're going to do content. Um, filter J storage policy good we're going to turn it off that's off duplication is off security right okay good so on this one here here's what we're going to do I want to delete this um, you know what yeah let's let's actually leave that right so desktop so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add a path um, well yeah, we're going to add a path. And 
actually we're going to browse we're going to browse really we're going to browse so notice what you don't see there you don't see that share drive I'll show you what I'm talking about not share drive sorry the network location you don't see that it doesn't it's not present you have to physically specify it when you do this so you have to actually tell it hey back up the W drive because otherwise it won't do it so you have there's no W drive here right so you either have to do it this way or you have to add that location so let's try to add that location that the W drive to this PC instead of a network let's do this let's do um, yeah actually you won't be able to do that um, so let's do like this so we aren't yeah so choose a custom network location right so let's see here let's do like that let's go W let's do W right next W okay share drive so whack whack so I've actually so I have two network locations so I have a basically it looks like a, a folder right essentially and um, let's just like create a you won't be able to map it actually but so it looks like a folder right so you, but your C drive can't still still can't see it um, according to Commvault let me show you that actually so for instance if you wanted to back up everything it's not going to work so I'm specifying the C drive here and um, this works the same way with Unix actually as well where you have to actually specify your 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 network path otherwise it won't work so you can all day every day but it's not going to work you have a network drive somewhere you can't you can't back it up unless you actually specify it in here so how do you do that let's just do add paths and the W drive is not going to work either so we have to actually physically do the share so copy that text as a copy this copy as text right and put it here put it here is it going to do guess not copy as copy address Okay. Paste it. Nope. Okay. It's going to be one of these two. So let me just copy this, delete that, and then uh, file. Okay. So uh, let's see. It's not going to work. Let's see. Let's delete it and add it again. This time we'll just do like this. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, just put our credentials in, open the filer, password, and password, whatever the password is. Um, anyway, so that's it right there. So that's how you set up actually, um, well, we're not done yet, but that's how you set it up actually to where, you know, um, a lot of times your, um, your Unix admins or Linux admins they're gonna have like a mount drive, right? Which is basically like a like a like a file drive or a like a like a server or a file share, right? And they're gonna assume it's backed up. Well, you know, it's in the D drive or E drive, whatever the Linux one is, right? The U drive, let's say, right? It's a mount. Well, they're like, oh yeah, it's backed up. Well, you, you know you're going to have to specify it here otherwise it's not going to be backed up same thing with uh, any of your your file shares you're going to have to specify it here on windows otherwise it won't work so um, these are the two things i'm backing up right the two files right so uh, i can either i can also do a backup system state i don't have a lot of space so i'm not doing that basically you can um, you know, back up a whole os and restore a whole os you know it's very uh, very common that people do that but anyway uh, moving on so filer filters we're not going to filter anything and here here's what you would do if you you didn't specify this um, if you didn't specify this say like just so for instance like say just um, a slash is it slash or the other way one of the two might be the other way 
So if you did, what's the other way here? There? Yeah. I guess not. Okay, so if you did C drive, right, for instance, or the whole thing, or is it, it might be dot slash, I think, or comma. I forget which one it is now. Dot slash. But it's basically, you're specifying the whole drive, like backup everything. No? Okay, well, whatever. I think it's dot. Let's see, it's dot. No? Comma? Maybe it's comma. No. At any rate, um, you're, you're backing up the C drive, the contents, the whole server, right? And then you have the filters, like, I want to filter out everything. So let's see. Just let's see, right? Global filters on. Um, so originally, you know, I filtered out the. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.